everyone welcome to today's session this is gayatri here from talent sprint in today's session we are going to be discussing the topic of number systems from quantitative ability when it comes to number systems the first and foremost thing that all of us learn is the divisibility rules in today's session we will see how to approach problems that come on divisibility rules so let me share my screen and let's start solving the questions for today's session if n be any natural number then by which largest number n cube minus n is always divisible so this is a very good question so you have n cube minus n how can i write this n cube minus n i can write it as n into n squared minus 1 correct i am taking one n out or i can write it as n into n plus 1 into n minus 1 so i can split it and write it like this or this is equal to n minus 1 into n into n plus 1 correct now what does this represent this is nothing but the product of three consecutive numbers okay it is given it's a natural number so definitely it is either 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc correct so this is the product of three consecutive numbers now what can the numbers be see either two numbers will be odd and one number will be even let's say one possibility will be like this uh, the numbers are 3 4 and 5 something like this where two numbers are odd and one number in the middle is even or the other uh, way in which the numbers can come is uh, two numbers are even okay and the number in the middle is odd but when you see take any combination and take any number that you want i am just taking 2 3 4 and 3 4 5 to explain easily okay any set of numbers that i take i can always see that there will be one number which is divisible by 2 and one number which is divisible by 3 for sure it will be there okay so again 3 2 so definitely i can say that any set of three consecutive numbers will be divisible by 6 okay so because it is divisible by 3 and 2 it is definitely divisible by 6 so 6 will be the largest number by which this n cube minus n will always be exactly divisible so the correct answer here is option b 6 so these are three comma uh, product of three consecutive numbers if you take product of any three consecutive numbers one of the numbers will definitely be divisible by 3 and the other will definitely be divisible by 2 okay any case any set so i can definitely say that such numbers will always be divisible by 6 next how many numbers are there from 300 to 650 which are completely divisible by both 5 and 7 so what is the answer for this see the number has to be divisible by both 5 and 7 means the number has to be divisible by 35 correct 5 7s are 35 so numbers between 300 to 650 and it should be divisible by 35 how many such numbers will be there again see you know how do you go about solving this see, you know what is 35 into 10 35 into 10 is 350 correct so after 300 what will be the first multiple of 35 it has to be 35 into 9 correct 350 minus 35 will be 315 so the first multiple of 35 after 300 will be 315 right which is equal to 35 into 9 similarly now what is 35 into 20 see 35 into 10 you know is 350 similarly what is 35 into 20 that is equal to 700 so this also you know now so the multiples that we are looking at are multiples less than 20 so uh, we need multiples less than 650 correct so after six, between 650 and 700 there will be only one multiple of 35 that is 35 into 19 correct so now let's check what is 35 into 18 what is 35 into 18 you get 630 correct again see again that is very easily you can do because you know 35 into 20 is 700 35 into 2 you know is 70 correct see uh, these are the cases where if you know the concept of speed max it's very easy okay see you know 35 into 20 is 700 correct 35 into 2 is you know uh, 70 so to find 35 into 18 you just subtract 700 minus 70 that is 630 okay so 630 is 35 into 18 so that is going to be our last multiple that we have that we require okay so all the multiples of 35 from 9 to 18 are the multiples between this set of numbers 350 300 and 650 which are divisible by 5 and 7 so how many such numbers are there see it is 10 such numbers are there 35 into 9 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Because you have to include this 9 and 18, correct? Because they are also in within the limit only. So totally you will have 10 such numbers. So the correct answer here is option C, that is 10. Is it clear? So the correct answer is option C, that is 10. So I hope the questions that we solved in today's session was clear to all of you. If you do like our videos, do subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next session. And this is Gayatri signing off till then. Take care.